What is up investors and welcome back to the Everything Crypto YouTube show where you can expect the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets, deep dives on projects we see as having huge potential in the future, as well as technical analysis on all coins featured on the channel. Now as always, please remember that nothing on this channel is financial advice, but rather my own thoughts, opinions, and research that I have compiled and broken down into a more digestible format for you, the viewer. So all you got to do is sit back, relax, grab a that Saturday morning cup of joe and enjoy the content and on that note if you do enjoy the content please consider supporting myself and the channel by hitting that sub and like button by showing some love to the twitter page and you can also go ahead and follow me on telegram and join the channel by either uh, scanning this link with your phone if you're watching from desktop or clicking the link in the description down below and with that said, we are going to get right into today's content as this week has obviously been just a PR disaster for the Crypto.com team. It has been very controversial amongst the Crypto.com community, amongst Crow holders, as there are some people who are leaving the ecosystem. They think that Crow is doomed forever, that it's going to zero, it's going to crash and burn. And then there are other people that are still holding their Crow and see the long-term value in this project outside of simply just the visa. And the reason I talk so much about but really removing your emotions from any scenario, but especially this one, is because once you actually step back and do the calculations, as I have done here for you guys, you're going to realize that Crow still has a lot to offer, especially in terms of that passive income. And although the visa changes did suck, it does not mean that I am leaving the ecosystem. It just simply means we are switching the strategy. So this video here, there is zero emotion involved. This is all based on calculations and numbers. So I highly recommend if you're at a stand and still, if you don't know what to do with your crow, I highly recommend that you do stick around for this video as this is not based on opinion. I have crunched the numbers and I do think that they will surprise you guys. So before we actually get into the calculations, we're going to just quickly once again review the Crypto.com Visa Rewards. And the Jade Green here is offering 4% uh, on your Crow stake per annum plus 2% cash back up to $50 limit, of course. And then the Icy White and Rose Gold is offering 8% on your Crow stake per annum plus 3% cash back. And the Obsidian is offering 8% Crow stake per annum plus 5% cash back. Now, are these visas still a part of the equation? Well, if you enjoy the benefits of the visa, including the Netflix and Spotify for the Jade Green and then like the Amazon Prime, the Airbnb, the Expedia rebates, if you take full advantage of these additional perks, then it might still be worth it for you to actually hang on to the visa. That's not something I can really say. It, does, it just does depend on each individual's lifestyle. But if we are talking purely from a mathematical perspective of how to make the most passive income from Crow, then the simple answer is no. The visas are no longer included in the equation if we are looking to generate the most passive income from this project so is crow doomed forever and ever is it going to zero are the haters correct is crow done for and i'm gonna have to say no as we enter the crypto.com DeFi wallet now if you guys have been watching this channel for a couple of months you know that we've been saying honestly well before these changes that over time everyone is going to have to naturally progress to DeFi to continue generating yield and that is because the SEC has their slimy hands all over these centralized exchanges, neutering their rates across the board, shutting down their interest programs, suing different centralized exchanges for offering interest bearing programs. And the only financial area that the SEC cannot get their hands on is decentralized finance, hence the name decentralized. And that is why I think over time it is incredibly important that more and more people get comfortable with DeFi as you will need to move here to actually protect your capital and generate that yield. Now, the thing is that Crypto.com is actually, I think, very, very aware of this, and they have made it incredibly simple to actually go ahead and hook up the DeFi wallet to the main app. So for starters here, what we're going to do is this video is going to be based on the Jade Green Visa calculations, and instead of actually locking up this crow for the Jade Green Visa, we are going to move it into the DeFi wallet. Now, if you go ahead and do 4,000 USD divided by 0 0.28, which is the current price of crow, then you're going to get 14,286 crow and that is how much crow you would need to actually lock up for the jade green visa 
So what we are going to do instead is go ahead and take this 14,286 crow and actually begin staking it in the DeFi wallet. Now, if you guys want an icy white visa version of this video, do let me know in the comments down below and I will work on that for you guys as well. But from what I have gathered from my comment section, I think the majority of the viewer base are Jade green card holders. So that is why I'm making this for them. But again, no problem making this for the icy white community. If you want, just let me know down below and I will get to work on that for you guys. So for starters, the big thing we always talk about with this DeFi wallet is the easy setup plus integration with the Crypto.com main app. What you do in your Crypto.com main app is go to your settings and then there is literally a tab that says uh, connection and you can just connect your DeFi wallet right to the main app and it is that simple. Then you go to your settings, you click on this little tab, it says send funds and boom, your wallet address is already copy pasted in there for you. All you have to do is send it. Okay, and here's one thing, this is a very important note that I did want to bring up and I'm going to just add this in the slides. I get a lot of questions about people who are transferring their crow from the main app to the DeFi wallet and then they're noticing that it's not available for staking. That is because you guys are sending it via the Kronos chain and this is crypto.org staking. Okay, so I'm going to leave a note right here that you need to send it via the crypto.org chain via the crypto.org chain because I do get a lot of questions about that. So that is the first thing you guys need to know is there are two, there are three different crow chains that it runs on. The first one is ERC 20. You do not want to send it over the Ethereum chain. The second one is the crypto.org chain. And that is where you're going to get access to this native staking for crypto.com. And then the final one is the Kronos chain, which has just been released five months ago. And there is no native staking for crow on that platform yet. So you're going to send your crow via the crypto.org chain to the DeFi wallet. Then you're going to go down to this little earn tab right here at the bottom. And then you can see here, there are a bunch of DeFi options for what you are actually able to earn on different coins. Now this picture is a little bit outdated, but that's what it looks like. It is a very clean looking slide and it just lets you pick the coin. And then here, what you do is you're going to go ahead and actually select your validator. Now, what you want to look for when you're actually selecting a validator is you want to find 98% uptime for staking rewards performance. And basically, this percentage base here is how often the node is running. So that means if you have um, a node with like 50% uptimes, that means you are, you are only earning staking rewards on 50% of the day. That means their node is not running. So you obviously want to get this as close to 100% as possible. And you also want to make sure that the owner of the pool has under 7% voting power to ensure that the staking pool remains decentralized. Now, I have already done this research for you guys, and I can tell you right now that the pool that I have been sticking with for the last little while is Jerry's Pool. And the reason I stick with Jerry's pool is because it is offering at the moment 12.35% per annum on your crow. And that is why we discussed really just kind of throwing the visa out the window if it comes to purely trying to make the most passive income. And that is also why I am not bearish on crow regardless of these visa changes because I feel like everyone was so hyper focused on the visa itself that they were not really acknowledging that there is much more impressive yield that you can generate from crow just by simply downloading and connecting the DeFi wallet. And in my opinion, the Visa has and always will be just sort of that item that Crypto.com uses to actually begin to acquire customers, okay? I think that Visa is a customer acquisition product, a pretty smart move from them from a business perspective to actually attract people to the platform and give them an actual real-life application to begin staking their crow and actually using this Visa to earn cash back. But I think as time goes on, the true plan here is to get more and more people comfortable with DeFi and understand, help these people understand over time that they actually can shift their crow to generate much more impressive rewards. So once again, we are going with Jerry's pool here at 12.35% per annum. You can see here that I did go ahead and just lock up uh, 90 crow as an example for you guys. So what you're doing here is you are going to see that there's an estimated network fee of about 0.002 crow. That's freaking pennies. And then the other thing that I really like about Jerry's pool here is that it offers 0% commission. And then if we actually take a look at the voting power slash uptime, Jerry only has 3.5% voting power. So well under pretty much a half of that 7% that you want to keep it under and 99.98%. 
0% uptime. So very impressive uptime on this node as well. And then boom, 0% commission. So you're going to go ahead and confirm your stake by clicking that button. It's going to be pending. And then boom, you're going to see your crow locked up here in crypto.org chain staking. And it even says it right here, guys. Okay, crypto.org chain staking, not Kronos chain staking. However, do keep in mind that if you accidentally bridge your crow from the main app to the DeFi wallet via the Kronos chain, there is also a migration bridge tool within the DeFi wallet. So you can transfer your crow from the, the Kronos chain to the crypto.org chain and then begin staking that way. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is keep in mind this 12.35% as in the next step, we're going to move on to the calculations. Now, what I've done here is I've just pulled up uh, one of my calculations from a previous icy white video. And if you guys have watched any of these previous videos, you'll know this is how we generally do the calculations. We make it in a chart format uh, with breaking down all the numbers. And we've actually gone ahead and decided to do this in a graph format this time around. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to break down the formula for you guys. And then we are going to go ahead and look at how this graph actually evolves over a five year period. So the formula is the X amount of crow that you are starting with. And in this case, this X amount is going to be 14,286. And then what you are doing is you are uh, multiplying that by 12.35%. And the reason we're doing that is because that is what we are earning in Jerry's pool here. So that's where we get that times 12.35%. However, we are compounding our rewards on a monthly basis. So you need to take this 12.35% and then go ahead and divide it by 12 to see how much crow you are going to generate that month from this uh, staking rewards here. And then you are going to get the new total amount of crow for the end of the month. And then you're going to go into month two. And what you are going to do is you're going to take this new total and paste it here into this initial box. And that's why this remains X, because this part of the equation is always changing. And then boom, you just rinse and repeat. OK, so X amount of crow times 12.35 percent divided by 12 equals your new total amount of crow. And then you obviously have to rinse and repeat this for 12 times per year as there are 12 months in a year. And we are doing this over a five year period. So now that you guys understand the equation um, we're going to get right into the calculations and this right here is actually the one uh, the formula with the DCA method and that would just be the X amount of crow uh, plus your DCA times 12.35% divided by 12 equals your new total amount of crow and then once again rinse and repeat for 12 times per year and we actually did go ahead and run the DCA calcs as well and these were mighty impressive in my opinion and I think definitely show the power of dollar cost averaging so once again if you guys do want to see this formula with a DCA method let me know in the comments down below because I do think that those results will really shock you as well and now we are going to get into the five-year calculations and here are the numbers broken down in graph format so if you guys like this format more than the charting format let me know I think it's just a lot cleaner to actually provide a visual so what you can see here is that in year one, you're starting off with this contribution, this one-time contribution of 14,286. And unfortunately, it is in dollar amount because I could not actually skew the axes on the chart. But just remember that we are doing this all based in crow, not in dollars. We are going to actually go ahead and add our price targets at the end of the video to go ahead and convert this into dollars. And I think that is where you guys are going to be really surprised. So for year one, we're starting off with that initial contribution. Contribution, and by the end of year one, this 14,286 crow turns to 16,153.7 crow. Now for year two, this 16,153.7 crow is going to compound into 18,265.57 crow. And then in year three, after another 12 months of compounding, this 18.2K crow is going to turn into 20,653 crow. For year four, this 20.6K crow is going to actually turn in to 23.353K crow. And last but not least, let's take a look at what happens after year five. So we're going to go ahead and remove all of these boxes here. And what we can see is that after a five year period, starting off with that initial investment of 14,286 crow, we are left with 26,406 crow. Okay, so what does this look like in terms of a percentage-based gain? Well, to actually begin 2022,
2022 with 14,286 and then go all the way up to this 26,406. That is an 84.84% increase over a five-year period based on your Crow alone. So simply by locking up your crow stake in the DeFi wallet and restaking it monthly, not even weekly, you could restake it weekly to actually get more crow. But the reason that we do it monthly is because we like to actually keep our assumptions a little conservative to account for any potential gas fees. And even those are incredibly cheap. But the point is we like to keep our assumptions conservative to show you guys that we do not need to pump or inflate these numbers with conservative measures. We are looking at an 84.84 percent increase increase in your crow over a five-year period and by compounding it monthly this 12.35 percent is not actually 12.35 percent it's actually 16.97 percent per annum when you compound monthly so this is the power of compound investing this is also why if you guys want to see that dca version i highly suggest you let me know in the comments down below because that once again increases this number here even more but this is the true strength of re-compounding on a monthly basis it is not actually 12.35 percent it's closer to 17 percent per annum on your crow and this right here is exactly why i remain long on this project once again this is why i really emphasize this week removing your emotions from the equation because when you remove your emotions from the equation and look at this from a pure mathematical perspective this is still incredibly impressive to me personally, and if 17% per annum through compounding monthly, not even yet accounting for potential capital gains appreciation, does not impress you, then I don't know what to tell you, but this is plenty enough for me, and this is why I remain in Crow. Now, before we actually get into the price targets, and this is where it's going to get really spicy as we start to take this 26.4 thousand crow and actually convert it back to USD based on our assumptions. I already know that some people are going to absolutely jump in the comment section to attack my price targets. So before I do that, I just want to actually uh, share with you this. I have not tweeted this yet, but what you can see here is that by the end of 2022, Crypto.com aims to have 100 million users. With the current supply of 25.2 billion crow, that would be 252 crow per person. And keep in mind, this does not include whales that hold millions of crow or if another burn was to happen. Think about it. So please think about it before you go in the comments section and tell me that my price targets are ridiculous or something like that. I've heard it before with multiple investments in crypto. And honestly, this does just come, come down to very basic math such as tokenomics and how many people you would expect to eventually hold this project. So with that in mind, let's get into these price targets. So the bear case assumption here would be that the platform remains stagnant, that they don't really innovate, but their user growth is modest over the years. And what we would see here is that 26,406 crow times a $2.50 price tag, which would actually put this around the market cap of Binance. I believe $2.69 puts it at the, at the market cap of Binance. So we are assuming $2.50 USD here. And what you get is 66000 thousand and fifteen dollars in 2027 from an initial investment of four thousand okay now the mid case assumption here is that they maybe let's say they do another burn they're able to penetrate majority of the newcomers that do enter the crypto market Maybe there's a better word than penetrate. That sounds aggressive, but you know what I mean. They acquire a majority of the newcomers coming into the crypto market. This leaves me at a $5 price tag. Now, even assuming that they burned half of their total supply, that would already give you a $5 price tag up from this $2.50 price tag. Um, so once again, 26,406 crow times $5 is going to give you $132,030 on an initial investment of 4,000 American. And now for the most bullish case assumption, including that they do more burns, that there is flawless execution from the crypto.com team, what we have here is a $10 price tag on our crow. And then you just take this 26,406 crow times 10, and that's gonna net you at $264,060 American from this initial $4,000 investment. 
So those are the numbers, guys. That is the math, and that is why, once again, we've really been emphasizing on this channel to really just remove the emotions from this equation. And actually, you know, it's really tough because right now, especially with social media and how many people are active on Twitter, it is so easy to hop online and just let FUD and all this doubt and uncertainty get into your head. And that is why we really, really like to take a step back and actually just ignore the FUD and other people's opinions and stick to the calculation, stick to the math, because math is emotionless, math does not have an opinion, math is based on cold, hard numbers, and these are it right here, so I do hope, you know, that if you guys are still in the crow ecosystem, if you were a little bit iffy on what you were going to do with your crow, that maybe this video did help you actually make just a more well-informed decision, whether you do decide to stick around and continue being a member of the crow ecosystem, or you want to move your capital elsewhere, I do totally understand and appreciate everybody's perspective and you know what what may work for someone will not work for someone else but i personally will be sticking it out as i see lots of long-term potential in this project regardless of this short-term fud and the changes to the visa so with that said i hope you guys did really enjoy this video it did take me quite a while to work on so if you do appreciate it let me know by dropping a like and leaving a comment down below if you are not subscribed to the channel please make sure to click that sub button and click that notification button if you guys want to see an icy white version of this calculation breakdown as well as a dca model version of this calculation breakdown also let me know in the comments down below and i will get to work on that for you guys i wish you all a peaceful and restful saturday catch you guys in the next one